We've had a lot of new pilots join us at the start of 2026. So I wanted to do a really quick fire five things that new pilots should know as they move into the hobby in 2026. Number five, sim time is absolutely mandatory. You could skip the sim, but then you'll be crashing a real drone, which costs you real money. Sims such as Liftoff, Velocidrone, Drone, DRL, Tripe, there's loads of them now. There really is. Pick one, log yourself about 20 hours before you touch the sticks outside for real. You can even use this controller on the sim, so when you do transition, out to the real world using the same controller. And that goes for the same for all Edge TX controllers as well. And speaking of controllers, get a controller first. Find one that you think will fit your hand and your style. You've got traditional style ones and you've got gamepad style ones like this. My advice when it comes to controllers is get the best that you can afford because this is your only physical link to that drone. This is the only thing that you're physically touching whilst that drone is up in the sky doing all those flips, tricks and flippy flops. So make sure you've got a good one of these. And when it comes to what drone you should pick first, I didn't, but I would advise starting with a tiny whoop these days. These things can cost as little as 50, 60, 70 quid or whatever your currency is or equivalent of. They bounce off things. They just sort of bend when you hit something with them. There's no real jeopardy at all. The worst thing that can happen is you can land in your wife's hair. I may have done that a few times. And I'm sure it's absolutely fine. But by flying around your house, you're finding those smaller gaps, you're getting that stick time, and it's all sort of coming and clicking into place and making a lot more sense and for a lot less money. The real currency in FPV is props. Forget expensive frames and expensive this and expensive that. Just make sure you stack up on props because when you first start flying, you are going to break them and you're going to need a lot of them. And they're the things that are going to break first. They're also the cheapest thing to buy as well. So uh, yeah, buy lots of props. And number one, I think, is if you can join a local crew, be it a flight club, be it just a group of people that you've seen on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, ask if you can go down. One thing I will say about the FPV community in general is it's got the most helpful people out there. People are just willing to help. They want to see you in the air as much as they want to get in the air as well. And that'll help increase your confidence. It'll get you in the air quicker and it will help improve your skill as well. Because the other thing is when you've got a group of people flying together, you push each other naturally. Whether you deliberately do it or not, you naturally push each other to a higher level because you're sort of competing with each other and you're following each other and somebody's suggested something that you've not thought about. It really is a great thing to do. So try and find a local crew. Now, the clock starts now.